Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play a little bit more of Chaos Gate Demon Hunters today. Please like and subscribe. Now, let's continue. Now, my current thoughts on gaming and the situation that is happening are this. I basically got a gaming PC which would have cost quite a lot of money four years ago for quite cheap because the 50 series being released made NVIDIA RTX 40 series cards become a lot cheaper. So this PC here was pretty good for the price. And even this can't run Black Myth Wukong and Warhammer 40k on the highest settings the way that I'd like. And I don't think that it's worth spending more money to upgrade this. Because... You know, if I really wanted to make this top, top of the line... I could spend another $700, $800 on this PC, and then this would be a PC that to really beat you'd need thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. But what's the point? Like, you know, at which point is the sweet spot where you just stop and go, you know what, that's good enough? And I think for the money that I've spent in this PC, this is probably pretty And that's why I like the look of the PS5 Pro, because to be honest, the PS5 Pro might actually measure up to my PC, and this doesn't have a terabyte of storage. Anyway. I don't know, everybody thinks the way that I do, but honestly, I think I've now bought and built a PC and actually spent time on it. For the amount of improvement that it has over a PS5, I don't even... I don't even see the point. Because it's exhausting to think about what you need to upgrade in your PC to get it better. And when you buy the PS5 Pro, it just has everything that you need. You know, disk drive aside. But that's what happens when you buy a gaming PC as well. When you buy a gaming PC, it's gonna cost a lot more. Oh, anyway, let's play. Warning. A large-scale anomaly approaches our coordinates. Continue. Analysis. Processing. Intermittent heat sources identified without active signal patterns. Current theory suggests space warping. If so, there is a high probability of valuable archaeotech on board. A fascinating possibility. There could be weapons. Something we might use. While I appreciate the academic interest, this risks being a significant distraction from our mission. I would advise we destroy the object from a safe distance and be done with it. Oh no, I wish I could go and actually uh, board the object. The Space Hulk, and it has valuable stuff on it. send soldiers to go and actually board the ship, but we can't do that. And I don't want to uh, risk my ship, so I'm going to avoid the object. The most prudent course Regret. Registered. Registered. And repeated. Enemy cruiser bypassed. Colliding with a Death Guard fleet will prompt an encounter that may leave the Edict damaged. These fleets can also interfere with nearby missions. There you go, I did the right thing. That was cool. We have arrived at the Medicaid's facility. 
I will depart in my frigate and make direct contact myself. With the bloom outbreak so rampant in this area, it could take me some time. Can there enough simply seize their records? You have the authority. Such biomancies can be exceedingly complicated. Without examining their patients firsthand, it will be time consuming to understand their process. Two seconds, I'll think about that decision. Now, I reckon that we can interrogate them and learn what you can, or take time to study their process. Take the time to study the process. The officio medicae are not known to be particularly efficient. I will return when I can. Can we not do that mission? Never mind, we can't do that mission. Okay, back. Well. Closing in fast, Commander. Warning. Corrupting pustules located on the ship's surface. Close quarters combat presents extreme risk. Shoot it down. Commander, we should launch a strike force to attack the ship from within. We have encountered a Death Guard cruiser. We must prevent all integrity from falling to zero and the edict will be destroyed. I must caution you, Commander. The higher the enemy's gun battery level compared to our own, the more hull damage we will sustain from direct ship to ship contact. Stay wow! Close. So they actually have some good gun battery as well. That's not good for us. But then the ship will be immobilized. And I don't have the Inquisitor right now, so that's going to be difficult. And if I get the Edict immobilized, then the next couple of turns will take some time. Is this really the only one that I can do? You can choose to order alternative consequences. Yeah, attempt to retreat. Okay. Opening fire. I got yeah. The image cries out for repair. Is it the manufacturer? Servitors and components have been allocated. She gets us to do that. Okay, now let's go back. Okay, well, let's go to this planet. Commander, it has been a fruitful excursion. Continue. Studied your report in detail, Inquisitor. It is clear the servants of the Plague God have been more active in your sector. However, 
There is little evidence to suggest this has grown to the scale of a galactic pandemic. If I may. Not yet. To be frank, the Baleful Edict is too damaged to be of use in more active theatres, so I will for the moment permit its continued deployment under your care. Might I then? No, you may not. I grant you the use of my ship to keep your histrionics to a minimum, but this is the limit of my generosity until you provide more convincing proof of this theory of yours. I trust that in the meantime you will keep out of the commander's way and let him serve the Imperium. <laughs> he dismisses my research out of hand. The Grand Master is no friend to the Inquisition. Are we not allies in this eternal war? The Grey Knights have served as Chamber Militant for 10,000 years, but Varden Kai has had a sour history with your order. Still, he is a man of utmost principle. If we can more clearly quantify the growing threat of this plague, I'm certain. Send a seed to tighten us out Those of business. Those seeds are essential for my research. My reports should be sufficient. Excellent idea, Commander. Perhaps a hard sample of this novel corruption will spark the Grand Master's interest and support. I will prepare the necessary walls so that the seed can be transported safely. Requisition Ranged Requisition Confirm This is really cool. Oh my word, they're giving me another thing to think about. They keep sending me more information. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. Sounds like All the flood. according to the plague god's desires. Yes, but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial! The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer. But I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge? You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander. You must send out your knights to harvest more. Let's get more. But have us loop around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of cool cutscenes that are being thrown up. And I'm not sure if I really want to play another mission with them right now. I don't have the time to research, which I completely see. Start new research. Hey. You have my attention, Knight. Do you doubt me, Commander? No. I do not know where the psychic scent will lead us yet. Undoubtedly. Wow. 
Wow, a hundred years in the making. If we must. To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. And how did you learn of us? I contacted the Ordo directly for martial support. How did you know where we were? The Ordo has the best prognosticators, unrivaled in reading the Emperor's Tarot. If we must. How do you the assess our progress? The bloom goes well. If we must. Yes, you've taken enough of my time. This is awesome. Okay, talk to Ekta. Let us talk over all our troubles. No, Have you? it's a powerful and detestably created enemy. Mm. Created. The plague god does not simply desire death and destruction like corn. Ah, so we're fighting the plague god, basically. Ah. Whatever best helps you, come on. That's all for I that. hope that aids you, brother. Brilliant. All right. Oh, let's let's go and see if I can actually get to. Come on. Now, can I not fight this? One of these missions? No. Let's go here. Why can't I fight these missions? What's going on? Well, this might be a thing for me next time. Alright, I think I finished this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you next time in Games Games.